I'm Wang Chong of the Global Times. I'm here in beautiful Bali, Indonesia. This is a world-famous resort island, but these days it has attracted global attention again. Starting on November 15th, world leaders will gather here for the G20 Leaders Summit, and Bali is ready for world leaders to arrive. Since we arrived in Bali, we felt the G20 vibe everywhere, from the airport to the streets and behind me. This G20 Leader Summit is said to be one of the most crucial as well as one of the most difficult ones because the world is mired in geopolitical tensions and a global economic downturn. Many from around the world are expecting world leaders here to come up with solutions to tackle those issues and we'll be talking to some of the people here to see what they want to see from the G20 Leader Summit and what do they expect of world leaders. I think so good yeah, for Indonesia and Bali as well yeah, uh, for uh, come back yeah, uh, from the pandemic, COVID, uh, for Indonesian tourism, I think it's uh, better. Yeah, uh, we'll be uh, talk about the population of economy. Uh, it is uh, more much important for Indonesia because it's uh, like uh, grow the effect for uh, pandemic. This uh, event is make uh, public or all Indonesia grow up. I think it's impact for the all. Uh, the words to make make uh, healthy for everything uh, recovery. The G20 was first created to tackle global economic issues. In 2008 and 2009, during the global financial crisis, world leaders first convened in Washington D.C., where they came up with what said to be the most effective and most coordinated solutions to tackle the global financial crisis at the time. And 10 years later, in 2022, the world again is facing serious economic crisis as the host Indonesia has set the theme as we cover together and recover stronger, trying to focus on the economic issues. So will world leaders hit that call from Indonesia to focus on tackling economic issues or will they focus on geopolitical tensions? Much of that remains to be seen.